This has unbalanced everything. Let's talk about the new power level of One Piece. So, loading. Welcome to the channel. And before the content of this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell. So you don't miss it whenever there are new videos around here. And without further ado, let's go to the video. Power levels have always been hotly debated in the One Piece fandom. The so-called top tier, the strongest of the work, have always been with the Yonkis and Admirals at the top of the list. Highlighted between who could be stronger than who, we could say that Whitebeard, Kaido, and Shanks configure the top of the work. Not to mention Roger, and the Admirals there in the queue, highlighting Garp who would be the legend within the Navy and Akainu, who apparently is the most powerful currently within the organization. But after Chapter 1095, everything changed. In fact, 1094 already gave clues that everything would change, but 1095 really changed everything. Apparently, there are at least two new levels in One Piece. E. I'm talking about the Gora CI level and, of course, above the I Am Sama level. Why is that? Because the little that Saturn showed in Chapter 1095 elevated the hype on top of the Gora CI and, of course, elevates and greatly the hype of I Am Sama. Who is their leader? Absurd regeneration, which could be due to the perennial surgery. Immortality, another theory that gains more strength. Appealing fruits, we already know that they have mystical zones, that is if they are not actually demons and not even fruit are using. The great feat of Saturn in my view was to cause great damage to Sanji, who wanting or not is very strong. And he did it as if it were nothing and without any named power yet. In other words, everything indicates that Gora Sei is above Yanku, and if Msama is above the Gora Sei, the level of this character is absurd. As I said, this revelation changes everything. Is Myhawk really the world's greatest swordsman? Now I'm not so sure. Today, I already bet on Ethabaran v Nusturo as in fact the world's greatest swordsman. And maybe he is Zoro's last enemy. I believe Zoro will already fight him with the title of world's greatest swordsman and not to mention the Sacred Knights, which we still don't know for sure about their powers, but at least Garling seems to be on the level of Yonku since he fought with Whitebeard and he hurt him. In short, I want to say that the power of the world government has increased a lot after this revelation. We have at least six characters more powerful than Kaido to fall. On the side of here, the only one we don't know the power yet is Dragon, but my bet is that he will rival Garling. I want to see how Odie is going to solve this, that story of the world being in balance between Navy plus Shishibukai's ex Yonkis seemed like bullshit and in fact. The world government could always annihilate the pirates, only did not want to do it. And there, are you also confused with the power level exposed by Oda? Leave it in the comments. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time and thanks.